Greetings, capitalist pig dog Americans. Today we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 as Vladimir Lenin. Ah, so cool. Ah. All right, so basically here's what's going on. Like I said, we're going to be playing as Vladimir Lenin, leader of the Greater Soviet Union. Uh, let's see. Let's get everything set up first and ready to rock and roll. Uh, we're going to go down to Mass Assault Doctrine. Hello there. Ice off, welcome. All right, so add the machine gun and let's start working on infrastructure. Hey there, George Albzani. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. Glad we got some people in here. Hey there, Cartoon Ninja. Now that we got some people joining, I can gladly say that I'm possibly going to uh, the red bars. But oh my god, I keep forgetting. It. I'm sorry. Let me fix that again. Let the red banners wave, my comrades. That's right. All right. Uh, top bar. Turn that off. All right. There we go. So, uh, I want to see you playing as Greece. We do Ireland Hearts Fire Four soon. What I'm thinking of doing is. Um, I forgot to do it today. I've been in a rush. Somebody got my a bill messed up, and I had a letter from a credit collector, and they're closed today. And I'm trying to dispute it with them, and they uh, weren't open, so I've been, like, looking up what I'm supposed to do. So I've been really busy today, but I was going to go on my Twitter and make a vote on there and let people decide who wants what. So I think at the end of the stream today... Uh, for a couple minutes, I'll probably just pull up a poll and just make it myself, post the link, and uh, then we'll decide uh, who we're going to play as the next day. So, uh, thank you, Assassinate Gamer. Welcome. Uh, let's get some artillery running. And, of course, we need tanks since we're the Soviet Union. Um, airplanes, yeah, okay, that'll be good. Let's go ahead and max our dockyards and put them over where Germans na or Germany's Navy is, too. So, over here. There, 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 and there. And another thing that you guys might think is really great, I'm not sure. I'd like to know your opinions on it later when we get some more people involved in the stream. But one thing I'm considering doing is during the stream, uh, what mods do I use? Oh my god, I forgot to uh, do that. Uh, basically, we're using um, the Vladimir Lenin mod today along with, um, oh my god, I can't remember the rest of them. It's Vladimir Lenin instant war but basically the stuff I normally use at the end of the stream I'll show you guys so let's go and get all of our divisions together get everything set up uh, something I'm working on also I'm trying to see how I need to do this but I am soon going to possibly start doing that song request thing on my channels or my channel I don't have multiple uh, I've just got to look up some things I remember <laughs> we have Lennon Trotsky because uh, if I remember correctly, YouTube has a rule against playing too many uh, audio songs or something like that in a live stream, and you can get in trouble for it. So I'm working on seeing about doing it first. Restore the lands of the Rudes. And mobile gaming, do I spy? I don't know what you mean by that. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy. Let's convert all of our horsies to... Um, Rostrelskia's divisions. Restore rent, lands of the Rudes, Russian Empire. Uh, what do you mean by that? I'm trying to figure out where you mean to go. Uh, Red Terror. I don't remember those lands. I think, are, are you talking about like Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania and all that? Or uh, is that what you're talking about? Did you pay for the game and how much? Yes, I did pay it for it. I did pay for it. I do not support piracy of this game at all. Like, it's amazing. It deserves every penny. Um, and I think it was like... Don't quote me on it, but I think I paid like $30 for it. I think. Something like that. I mean, it, it wasn't very much. 40 Oh, no, no, no. I got on G2A. That's what I did. That's what I did. I wouldn't recommend going to G2A right now, though. It's not as great as it used to be. I'm having a lot of issues with those guys. Okay, so let's put our tank divisions here. 
I have 230 hours on it. I've got around 400 and something. I'm thinking of uh, possibly invading Turkey. Turkey and Romania. Should we go ahead and invade Turkey and Romania? What do you guys think? Dude, will you knock it off with the nutty buddy thing? Uh, it means annex Finland, Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that's who we'll go for first then. Is Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Poland. Um, well, actually, it looks like we already got some requests to go ahead and invade these guys. Hmm. Well, we'll invade them, and then we'll go in for Turkey. I'm thinking. All right, let's set up our divisions to go into Latvia, Estonia, and uh, the other one really quick here. Invade Iran. Hmm. All right, let's get these guys. Then we'll go into Turkey and Iran. We will make the German Reich fear us, and we will. Wait, no. I'm trying to. I'm trying to quote Aldo Rain for. Uh, out of the Apache from Inglorious Bastards. Remember that movie? What's your favorite country to play as? Germany. This is actually the very first, very first time I have. Uh, will I play the game on a low NPC and the maximum time speed for you is like three? And yes, I don't know because the cracked version usually you can't get mods on there and it doesn't have multiplayer, so you can't join our people. But um. It may or may not work. I know that there's like a patch that they released a while ago on Steam to like help low end PCs, but since you have a cracked version, it may not help you. So I'm running this on a GTX uh, 960, so it may work. Uh, hey there, Dane. Welcome. Welcome. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and grab half of these guys and put them on the border here. Our truck divisions are pretty bad right now. Let's add these guys with a Trotsky. Uh, well, it's an old version of the game. Yeah, so. Alright. Commandia. I have the utmost confidence in your military abilities. And you better win this fight or else you're going to be murdered. <laughs> Alright. And you don't need the Baltics. Late claims through Focus Tree. If you justify the claim, give me no... Oh, wait a minute. So, should I yes or no? It's up to you guys. Should we invade Estonia, Latvia, and um, Lithuania now? Or should we wait? So, it's up to you guys. Just tell me in the thing. And whatever the most of the uh, comments look like, that's what we'll do. Um, do, 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 oh, no. go for it, no, yes, yeah, okay, alright, looks like three to one, sorry Connor, looks like we're going in, uh, no, cause if you fight the allies you don't have to worry too much, what? I didn't catch that. Anyway, we're already at war. Um, this is actually the very first time I have played this game as uh, Russia. Very first time. Ever. I've always either played as Japan or Germany. So this will be interesting. Well, Ethiopia got defeated. Alright, so. Armament effort. Italy, Ethiopia. I'm trying to see what we should do here. Bloodlust. <laughs> I'm outnumbered for people who are hungry for war. Yeah, Connor. It's hearts of iron. It's not hearts of treaties. It's hearts of iron. Everyone wants to kill everyone. <laughs> um, all right. It looks like we already did it. We already got in there. Has the Spanish Civil War started yet? No. Should be soon. All right. Estonia is ours. Next target is in our sights. Prepare to invade. Uh, I'm not looking at it. Lithuania? No, Latvia. Ah. Latvia. 
And you men will go west. Hearts of Rainbows. <laughs> Hearts of Rainbows, the game where you massacre Teletubbies by the thousands. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, I thought I was researching that. Oh, I have to be at war. Oh. Okay, actually, I'll declare war. And I'll just keep the troops there and I won't move. And I'll get that uh, benefit. And war. Alright, and boom. I'll just keep my troops here and not attack. <laughs> I'll just sit him there and get that. Uh, the coastline, the AI dump, it makes naval base everywhere. Right now, you could get attacked only in Leningrad. Yeah, but I'm going to start building up the Russian Navy, as you can tell. And the only country I have to worry about is Germany. And they don't go crazy for naval power on here. They really don't. Let's see? They actually have a smaller Navy than I do right now. And they're more advanced, but they're not, you know, as good. Trotsky stream next. Just wondering... I think I'm doing that on November 7th, I think. It's the day of the Russian Revolution we're doing that. Are these troops over here yet? Yes, they are. Alright, good. Soviet Navy during World War II was trash. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I don't really have to worry about it too much. because Germany doesn't really naval invade, though. They really don't, and... I'm not really looking to get into a war with the Allies exactly yet, but um, if I do, I do, but if I can avoid it, I'm going to. So let's go ahead and get uh, Silent Workhorse. Oh, we can purge this guy later on. Oh, okay. Uh, I got a challenge. Play as El Salvador. Uh, aren't they over here somewhere? Ecuador. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that would be a challenge. What's their manpower? Zero. <laughs> oh, all of them are zero, though. Hmm. I will get back to you on that. I might play as El Salvador. That is a possibility. And start going after uh, South America's. Hmm. How'd you get the idea of doing Lenin? Uh, basically, I was just bored looking at mods on the store trying to figure out what to stream tonight. And, uh, it's a new mod that came out where you play as Vladimir Lenin. And I thought, hey, everyone on the stream would enjoy that, I think, and hope. What happened to Stalin? Oh, wait a minute, that's a good question. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. I guess that, uh... He's still uh, Lenin's second-hand man, maybe. I don't know, communist, I need to get out of here. Hey, Chris, welcome to the stream. Oh, wow, they could easily have broken out right there. They could have very easily just, like, gone straight north, and I wouldn't have noticed that right there. Uh, we need Comrade Stalin. <laughs> uh, Comrade Stalin can't help you now. Lin and smash! Lin and smash! I think next we might do the Cold War mod because I have not played that yet. And uh, all right, next and final target is Lithuania, and then uh, we're no longer bl as bloodthirsty as we were. We're not as bloodthirsty. Uh, just avoid the boring pl uh, place, the winter place. What? Oh, Dr. Cone said gay. Oh, hey, Papa Stalin, welcome. All right, let's do this. Now to invade the last enemy of the Soviet Union. <laughs> Except for Germany later on. Those guys are real leaks. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And we have taken all the little baby punk countries by force. And if we wanted to, we could invade the German Reich. Right now. Right now. Uh, wait, Nightbot's back? Yes, Nightbot is back, but let me explain. He's nicer than he was. Like, I edited some of the 
things that he could say and things that he could do. So he's nice now. He's not banned everybody for everything. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a tank here. Because we need to try to keep uh, Republic of Spain alive. Since we're actually playing as the Soviet Union. How many volunteers can we send? Seven. Alright, so that means we can easily take, like, overwhelm Germany's tank divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that'll work. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to send volunteers to that dude. <laughs> oh, wait, now five? Oh, that's weird. If I say, okay. Um, manpower is one million. Hmm, this reminds me of a song about a million Soviets. Oh, uh, yeah. One million men at war. Soviet wrath unleashed. Um, even if you don't, uh, help them, they will always win. It's dumb. Wait. So, if I, you're saying if I help Republic of Spain, they'll win or they'll lose? Because I'm going to try to save them. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and do the purge. Dangerous capitalist plots brewing among the independent businessmen. Worse yet, seems the sympathizers among the Red Army officers. So far, it seems mostly limited to the lower ranks. But eventually, the USSR will be thrown into another civil war. Unless we are prepared to end the NEP. And deal with these traitors. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Oh, consumer factors go up 20%, but that goes up to... I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Let me, uh... Get some other things going first. Let's do this. Get our national unity up. Oh, forgot, you're the Soviet, not Germany. <laughs> uh, Skulk. Uh, I forgot the exclamation marks. Oh, yeah. Alright. No, you gotta, if you're trying to break that code, you have to do it just right. Like, it, I can never get it totally working. You have to actually do the exclamation mark and everything if you're trying to break that code. Oh, look at that. We already captured their capital. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on at Nightbot things. It's supposed to, like, do a funny, um, actually, you know what, I'll, I'll do this right now. You'll see what, uh, Nightbot is supposed to do really quick, and then we'll get back to the war. Um, let me find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. Yeah, see, this is what it's supposed to say. Oh, wait. It doesn't work. Daggone it, Nightbot, why don't you work? That's stupid. So it's not even working for me. Alright, well. I give up. Whatever. I don't care. Nightbot, forget it. Alright, let's go back to the war. Alright, so. Research slots available. Let's go ahead and get uh, industry going along with uh, production. Oh, I hope these tanks don't die. Well, if they do, I'm going to be so angry. Come on, get in there. Take their capital. Do it. Come on. This division here will attack this guy to keep him back. That guy could easily help me. Very easily. Just move north. There we go. Got their capital. Oh my god, it's evolved into thinking for itself. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Where'd you hear about Deutschland, Uber Allies, and Oof, the old national anthem of Germania? I don't know what you are talking about, sir. Oh, hi, Japan. 
Um, militarized schools. Extra research slot. That'll be helpful. Re oh, God. Not the guy who pretends he's Nightbot. Oh, God. Oh my god, we got the guy who's doing that. Alright. <laughs> okay, so. We got into there. Now let's go over here and try to, uh... Oh, no, 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 come on. It has me so annoyed they keep, like, breaking through these lines. in this war if we can get rid of this group right here his other guys will go west and try to help us and then maybe we can just drive to their capital and just start driving circles around them maybe you know what? we're gonna do that we're gonna get our tanks together and we're gonna try to go around their capital and uh, attack them drive straight their capital and just see wing steamroll uh, travel in the deserts of Africa now took a plane to Europe got deported <laughs> jeez See, Connor, I told you, I fixed it. Nightbot's cooldown. Alright. To Burgos! And you two up there to that one. If. You're telling me our five Soviet tanks can't defeat one German tank unit? Oh, this is bad. Uh. Increase production. No national focus. Let's do these two. So oh my god, we have so much bloke power. I did not even notice this. Alright, now we do have another mod. Uh, we have like military staff here. Or no, the question mark thing. I can't remember what this mod is called, but it basically gives us different cool effects for our planes and attack and all that sort of crazy stuff. It's really cool. I like it. So let's do this to park factories down some. Wait, army. Actually. No, that'll be better. Um, then for our theorist, let's get. Mm, mass combat. Yes. Oh, that manpower looks so sexy now. Uh, design units. Let's do. Improve productivity. If you guys spam, he will purge of his own. <laughs> Welcome to Arts Fire 4. Most awesome at the same time. Worst game ever. If you have played it, you will know what I'm talking about. He's right. It is fun. And it is stupid sometimes. All right. Uh, oh, that guy's been purged. Oh, wait. No, no, he hasn't. All right. So. Military theorist. E oh, yes. let's get up to 250 and then we'll get that mass assault guy. Hey, Muhammad, welcome back. Peter, welcome. Alright, we gotta pull these tanks back. I'm gonna go over here and go north. Because I can't penetrate those German tanks right now. Like, at all. In fact, I'm having issues penetrating infantry, it seems. Alright, so. These guys there. These guys here. We'll see if we can really rapidly. Hang on here. I'm trying to like force them just run all over the place, try to guard their capitals and stuff. All right. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Got a lot of their troops trapped now. As long as we can hold these lines open, we can do pretty well. Oh, they're trying to cut in. We might be able to help win the Spanish Civil War here. If we can just take down their troops and hold them off long enough while the 
three tank divisions here just overwhelm their troops and just massacre them. Um, Trump is crazy right now. How's it go over there in U.S. with Trump? Trump is actually doing not that bad. You know, I mean, we're almost at war with uh, Russia. We're almost at war with China. We're almost at war with um, Mexico. We're almost at war with North Korea. We're almost at war with Iran. And we're almost at war with Saudi Arabia. So he's doing an excellent job over there. Here. First Spain will take Afghanistan. Then Iran revolution will... Okay. Let's try to block these guys off while we're at it too. And then take their ports. If we take their ports, these guys up here will have no supply coming in. Like, at all. Uh, no, not Trump. Russia. Trump likes Russia. Yeah, but Putin's not too happy about us attacking Syria with the chem- Or with the- Not chemical weapons. Uh, he's not too happy with us launching missiles at uh, his buddy over there in Syria. So. Okay, you guys. Okay, should we go ahead and do this thing where we do not push back, or should we keep in there? Because it's possible that we will end up going to war, so it's up to you guys. Do we pull back our troops, or do we push back our troops, or pull back, or keep them there? It's up to you guys. Push back. Uh, do, 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 do. Push back. Don't do it. Push back. Alright, it looks like everyone's saying push back. Oh, my phone. Alright, so I guess we're pushing back hard. Well done. Our raid across Manchuria border against Japanese troops massing their success. We caught them before they had to finish their preparation. We have brave soldiers on them. It's good being violent skirmishes. Alright, cool. So... All right, we held our troops firm and we did it! Woohoo! Uh, Nightbot, more like night butt. <laughs> hey, you guys want to see something funny? Uh, call Nightbot stupid and see what it says. Like, I have never had anyone actually do that before, and I set up a while ago. Just, just say Nightbot stupid. It's funny. Trust me. I'm just looking in that chat. I want to see someone to do it. I just want to see someone do it. Come on. Why is it not? Oh, come on. It's supposed to reply back. No, you're stupid or something. It's supposed to like... <sighs> this thing... It doesn't work half the time and it bugs me. It, it, it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. It always ticks me off. Never mind. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's get uh, this right here for our manpower. Then we're going to start getting our general. Can we actually change this yet? War economy. Ooh. No, wait. We need mass assault doctrine first. Oh, Nightbot did reply. Ha ha ha. That's great. Uh, there it said you were st <laughs> alright now let's see how quick we oh we still don't do very well alright now wait a minute I've never played as Russia before so I don't know what to do naval mass charge deficient attrition this one's longer huh actually no, we'll go down the right side, because that, that would help with infantry, so we'll leave that. A uh, Lenin is a cyborg. <laughs> yeah, from those screeching noises. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it looks like they're trying to break through over in here to get out of this pocket that I've forced them in. So. Wait, where's my other tanks? Oh, they're all over here fighting. Okay. You know, let's just finish up this pocket of resistance, and uh, after we finish these guys off, then we'll head down south and uh, finish those guys off. Dustin, why don't you tell us Nightbot is a rap god? What? 
What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I don't understand. Oh, German's tank. Germany's tanks are over here. Let's uh, put them in their place. Let's push these guys back and trap the German tanks and overwhelm their position. Actually, no, I'll just overwhelm them now. Hey, Germany. How do you like uh, Russian tanks, huh? Germany's got one infantry division and one tank division. Oh, what? Well, Hungary just declared war on Austria. And Germany's doing the anti-Soviet pact. Well, isn't this interesting? By the way, you need to take back Madrid. Oh, oops. Um. Yeah, all right. Let's take Madrid back. Let me get, uh, we need better armor. That's a fact. Let's get better armor. And then overwhelm the, uh, Let's go ahead and get this purge thing out of the way, too. Oh, here we go. Now we can totally just overwhelm these German tanks right here and make a name for ourselves and make Germany believe that, oh no, if we attack them, they will absolutely ruin us. They will wreck us. Yeah, Germany, how you like Soviet armor? It's this beautiful thing called vodka in the gas tank. Uh, Nightbot gulags with that totally don't exist. Oh. Uh, Alright, what do we do? So, in a surprise speech during the Supreme Committee, Comrade Berkram has uh, defended the new economic policy and condemned the recent change to policy. This man will push for civilization instead. To quote his exact words, our new policy boils down nothing less than a mass annihilation of completely defenseless men with women and children. The reaction was with rather mixed. A few comrades did seem to be in agreement with him. A few uh, feel that he grossly overstepped his bounds and should be punished. What should we do? So, sh is he right or should we go ahead and arrest a traitor? It's up to you guys. Uh, we'll just say execute him or leave him be. Just say leave him alone or kill him. Because that's what we're pretty much doing. Um, how do you like them Soviet armor? <laughs> yeah. Proof that German armor is weak. All right. And by now you should guys probably have just heard that speech. So kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, everyone's saying kill him. To the gulags with thee. Let's research heavy tanks, because depending on our production, we might need those KV-1s later. Free military factories, alright. Oh, we actually got a lot of them. Um, do we not have dive bombers as Russians? Well, that's interesting. Alright then. Uh, tanks, tanks. We need artillery, and that should be good for right now. Uh, coup the French, hi. Oh, that's right, let's go ahead and start a... Getting the French to become communist, because that's what I love doing to Germany. Uh, March 5th, 1938, okay. Did we get them? Oh, almost. After this guy, we're going to push hard to their capital down there. Okay. Yeah, those level 10 forts will just decimate Germany. And he's doing the anti-Soviet pack, so that's not going to be great. Alright, great. Now let's go and get our troops over here to Madrid. Capture it from the Germans. And their armor. Oh! Oh. I thought they, uh, I thought Japan declared war on us. All right, uh, make you go Slavia communist, put Tito in power. Uh, okay, let's uh, see here. Let's get this weaponry research first. Okay, now if, what's my political power? 45 a day. Ooh, uh, we will do, we will boost the power. 
I guess, but then we're not really be able to do much else right now. 281. So we purged the guy who was giving us political power. So we really need to think about this before we go any further. So let's do war economy. That's going to be really important after this purge goes to help us build factories. Uh, support communism in America, support it in France. Yeah, France is going to be my biggest thing. Uh, after I do it in France enough, then we'll start doing it in the United States. Alright, the Red Terror. The purges have begun. Uh, okay. And slot. That's good. Artillery. Ooh. Russian artillery. Number one artillery. Coup the French in the level 10 forts. Oh, the level 10 for Oh, I know what you're saying now. My bad. My bad. Thank you for mentioning that. Is that the right place? Yes. Thank you for mentioning that. Really. If I send volunteers this guy, I can send four tank divisions. After these guys are done here, I think we'll send four. Let's just go straight south and uh, cut more of these troops off on the way there. Send this one tank there, Cap. We'll see if we can save Spain. Maybe this guy can go back up and grab it before they do anything. Maybe? Is he fast enough for that? Come on, get up there. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, oh, they got it. Oh. Oh, no, we, we can't. We must break through to our comrade. Oh, there it is. We got it. We got it. Is that the end of the Spanish Civil War? I guess not. I guess that's... Well, these two are their last cities, so after these guys are gone, then... I can't imagine they'd still be winning. Like, at all. Like, they don't have any cities left, you know? Alright, they don't have any cities left. How are they still in the fight? There we go. Yay, Republic of Spain! We did it! We saved the Republic! Italy pursues bomb with Germany. Italy joined the Axis. Okay. Nightbot is back. Yes, but he's nice now. He's not angry. He's just there for reminders. He's just there to ask people to subscribe. That's it. That's all he's there for. Um, let's upgrade to our BT-7 tanks. Our factories actually didn't get to hit that bad. Hmm. Alright, I am going to make these guys a different general, because that's kind of difficult to keep up with. Um. Wait, do I see Stalin? Aha! Artillery attack 15 and max entrenchment. Oh, wow. We have Stalin as a general. That's awesome. Zukov... Let's make this guy a general. And that's who will guard the troops. Or guard the border, you know. Uh, <clears throat> save Spain's purple stripe. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, next was uh, Turkey, right? Yeah, we're going to Turkey next. And then uh, Turkey, you're being guarded by Romania. So after Turkey, we can go into Iran, and then we'll control a lot of the Middle East. Let's go and start building troops. Because as Russia, we need divisions. Okay. Oh, wait, wrong guy. Oops. My bad, my bad, my bad. We're going to take about 13 divisions, send them down there with uh, 
Let's give them to a Stalin. Find Stalin down here. He's actually a pretty bad general. He's only level two, but hey, it's Stalin, you know? Uh, attack Finland. We'll attack them in a little bit. My main thing I want to get rid of right now is these uh, uh, turkey guys. Well, actually, I think I'll invade Iran, then Turkey, then we'll go to Finland. Does that work for everybody? Turkey, Finland, or Turkey, Iran, and Finland. Military reorganization, okay. Oh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, military schools, because as Russia, we always need more population. Russia's the third, Rome, and Turkey is second, Rome, so take it back. Okay. Interesting way of putting it. Go ahead and add some infantry. Uh, recon, logistics. Let's make it even 20. Alright. And now on to war with Iran. We're going to fix the USA's problem like 50 years in advance. And war! Move tank commander. Oh, and I'll send these veteran guys down here. Hit them with the turkeys. Promote Stalin. And have only Stalin and Lin as your army commanders for memes. I don't know about that. Oh, look at these guys. They actually have, like, the coats on everything. These are cool. All right. We're obviously needing rifles. Oh, how about that Soviet encirclement right there? That is beautiful. If you attack Finland, pay attention to Finnish snipers. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, after we get uh, Iran and Turkey. Um, oh, wait a minute. They're being guarded by Romania. Yeah, they're guarding Romania, so really, I need to send these guys down to the Romanian border and get ready to attack Romania. Okay. And then maybe we'll invade Bulgaria just so we have a massive front line against Germany and their allies and just overwhelm them later on. Because, I mean, come on, it's Germany. We all know he's going to go to war with me soon. I never use radar, so that's pointless. That's totally pointless research. Oh, yeah, field hospital. My bad. I unplugged my microphone. Field hospitals, yeah, because we totally need those in Russia. Um, Puppet Iran? No, I'm taking. I am straight up taking land. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't see a reason to puppet nations. Because as soon as you puppet them, what happens? They get to keep most of their supplies. They lose all their troops, and you have to babysit them, but you don't get any of their manpower. But if you just straight up take their land, you get all the resources, you get all the manpower. I only like puppeting people if it's an online game to leave the person in. Otherwise, I don't see a reason to puppet people, like, at all. Prepare Polish battle just in case they make their faction and Romania joins it. Yeah, you, yeah, we're already getting troops on the border with them. Because I know it's going to happen. As soon as I do this, they're going to go straight in and attack us. Or attempt to, at least. These guys are purple, right? Yeah. I just realized, I'm not even using troops down there to fight them. I'm just straight up using tanks and motorized infantry. Oh, Italy declared war on Greece. Well, that's interesting. Battle plan for the planning bonus? Uh, I think. I don't know. Like I said, this is my very first time ever playing as Russia, so I've got no idea how to do this, and I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, modify government.
Let's do limited export to choke off Germany, because I know they're trading from me. I know it. Let's just see if they were trade partners. Oh, we don't like them at all, do we? Different ideology. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Austria is defeating Hungary. What? Well, let's see the uh, casualties. Wow. Hungary is losing the war against Austria. And Germany's wanting Austria, too. So this is going to be interesting to see how this is going to end here in uh, about probably 50 days. Russia's strong. You play defensive or offensive against Germany? I don't know. I, like I said, this is my first time ever playing as Russia. Like, ever. So I've got no idea what I'm going to do. It just depends on what he's using to attack me. I mean, if he's going crazy with tanks, I'm obviously going to be defensive and try to build AT and uh, use that. But on the other hand, yeah, well, yay, we got a ram. Uh, now, let's uh, get ready to invade Turkey. Wait a minute, why am I even going for this land? Someone mentioned it. What's the point? Oh, chrome mini. Oh, chrome and oil. Oh, okay. I see. We're. Wait a minute. For the guy who told me to invade Turkey, Iran, what was the reason you wanted me to do that? That's what I'm curious about. I don't know the reason why I needed to do that. Research T-34 is unstoppable. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. But they're at war with Italy. And Italy's part of the Axis. So that would kickstart World War II right now. Yeah, no. I'm not going to invite you, Romania. It's not happening. With them, you can beat Germany without a problem. Hey there, Rise of Hell. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so. Oh, Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Are you ready to see some Russian vodka, vodka? Mm hmm. It's funny. We're doing a Russian Blitzkrieg, pretty much. Alright, and war. And then Romania is going to declare war. Yep. All right. And we're winning over there along with down here. So let's see how we do it. Oh, wow. Look at that, man. Look at the. Uh... We're winning in Romania pretty good. Turkey's kind of a stalemate right now, though, it looks like. So let's uh, pour our generals down to. Yeah. Let's let them think about their plans for the act. Turkey for straight so your fleets to get in the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, I okay. I got you now. I get it. I see why you need why you want me to do that. Okay, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Let's get. Oh, I don't have that yet. I don't know why I'm building the fort so close either. I need to start building back here because. In a little bit, when Germany goes to war with me, if they start, like, invading, I'm going to lose all those factories. I have to take Turkey, Romania, try Bulgaria. I think after Bulgaria, I mean, um, uh, Romania, and, well, maybe Finland after Bulgaria. Okay, Bulgaria and then Finland. How does that work? Join the war on Hungary's side if you invade Romania or free Hungary if it gets defeated. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, Germany took Austria and saved Hungary, apparently. <clears throat> Alright. The war is going very badly down there. Deploy these divisions, where are they? Let's overwhelm them with Soviet aggression. Mm <laughs> hmm. Oh, yay, the French Commune. Oh, that's a lot of land. Okay, and they are not at war with me. So, or allies, so that's good. Naval invade behind them. That's what I'm thinking of doing, but that might take a while. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Um, invite faction. 
Oh, what? We're losing. Losing our war with Romania. Hmm. Alright. We're at war with Francis Vladimir Blinin. Uh, your stream is laggy. Oh, no, that's just the game itself. I don't have that great of a graphics card. Like, on my end, it looks fine. But, um, basically, from it going from the recording software to uh, YouTube, it's not that great. So, that's what's going on. Okay, so. Uh-oh. Uh, crap. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Um, hmm. I think that I have just run Russia straight into the ground. Let me take these three guys. See if I can do a naval invasion to Turkey. We're going to need as many troops we can get. Like, rapidly. We can get this port here how long will that take 21 days okay get those guys these guys these guys these guys actually all these guys can be in a new army and then they'll get out there with them uh world war ii yeah <laughs> all right all right i guess these guys will meet up with them and sp oh yep there it goes well, I doubt Japan's going to war with me anytime soon, so let's go ahead and send half the divisions back west. It's 1938, and Vladimir Lenin already started World War II. It's only a matter of time for the U.S. gets involved now. Romania joined the Allies, and they were willing to join me. It, wait a minute. They were at war with the United Kingdom and all that, weren't they? You know, I wonder what's going to happen if Germany declares war on one of them. Like, how that's going to work. Where it's like, the French Commune versus the United Kingdom, or the Allies versus the uh, Axis. That would be weird. Alright, so. T-34s are a way off, but let's go and start getting this thing together. If you want to conquer Germany, go for North, conquer Finland, Norway, Denmark. You conquer Berlin faster because Germany... Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go and get our Navy here. Because we don't know if we're actually going to be able to do a good enough job. So... Because I know Turkey's got a navy, I would assume. Oh, Romania does. And Turkey does. Ooh, snap. Alright. Huh. Nah, I'm good. Thanks for that proposal. Uh, we can do West Germany fascist playthrough. I'm thinking of doing that possibly tomorrow. That might be tomorrow. Oh, we're making some land grabs down there. This might be our opportunity. Oh yeah, this is our shot right here. That's our shot. They're moving troops all over the place. This is perfect. But this armor division is doing a horrible job. Actually, oh, uh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I've got them all trying to attack from like one place. I need to send them down here in the south and attack west this way. That's what I need to do. I need to mass them. All right, you can. You are breaking through charge. Do a Red World USA live stream. Do you mean a Russia? I mean a Soviet or not Soviet? You mean a communist stream, right? Is that what you're talking about?
Alright. Oh, we don't even have any convoys to do this. We don't even have the convoy strength to do a naval invasion. Oh, wow! Our Russian Navy just kicked the crap out of the Turkish and Romanian Navy. Look at that. Great Wars and Mod where Russia won the Cold War. Oh, okay. I'll have to look that up. Wow, we took out a lot of their troops and didn't really have to do anything. Looks like we do get to naval invade them. Hmm. Alright, come on. Where's your troops? Oh, I need, like, a decent amount more for the supply thing. Okay. Hey, you know what's funny? If you actually type in that word, um, Chris, if you actually type in that word, Nightbot will reply it back to you. I'm serious. Try it. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, Alright, so... We need engineers when we get into a war with, uh, you know, Germany. What strategy did you research? Uh, we're going our mass assault. And how's our weapons? We're not doing bad. We're doing pretty good with artillery. We actually even need that much already. Let's pull that back down. Um... Oh, uh, yeah, that's definitely what we need. We're doing pretty well in Romania down here, too. It's only a matter of time for our troops to start invading uh, these guys. How many men did you lose? I don't know. Let's find out here. Um, so far in the war, we've lost 301,000. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, no, who, who's lost them? Okay, Romania's lost a lot. They've lost 150,000. All right, I've lost 301,000, and they've lost 219,000. So, we're playing Russia. I mean, come on. Um, hmm. Then once our divisions break through down there, or our convoy will actually get enough uh, stuff to get to actually deploy it, that'll work out very well, too. No, we're not accepting peace. We're obviously going to win against Romania. French communes losing against France. Yep, there it is. Romania's dead. I think next, since we're already at war with the Allies, we'll go ahead to war with the... Oh! Look at all these British troops they had over here, huh? Looks like a lot of British people going back. I wonder if I can. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Let's now attack uh, Bulgaria. And. I want them to go ahead and finish this guy off. Like these three divisions in here. Let's go ahead and kill them. We'll go into Bulgaria. And then we'll evade Turkey from the west. And we'll pretty much control all of the uh, places over here. Wait a minute. I'm at... What? Oh. Oh. I need to invade Turkey fast. They're starting to take my land in, uh, over here. I mean, we are breaking through in Turkey. And France... Huh. Oh, good. We got these guys. Hello, Marnik. Oh, yeah. Bulgaria's like, oh, no. Oh, we know what's going to happen with this.
One million man charge. Oorah! I did a little bit too early. Oops, no, I won't do that either. Alright, now, ahem. Oorah! Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, we're breaking through fast with them. And that one guy just decided to move that way. <laughs> Wait, no, what? I didn't... Mass assault the Russian army before they join. Oh, yeah, flip the United States quick. Okay. How much manpower or thing we got now? Okay. Oh, they're going with Alf Landon. They might not... Interested in be interested in joining. Right. Oh yeah, we still have a lot of already. Um, those, those, then that. Czechoslovakia join the Allies. Oh yep, here we go. Now we're in a weird war. Now it's the French Commune versus the Axis versus. Or wait, the Allies are fighting off the German Reich along with... Wait a minute. Okay. This is, an, this is a weird war. It's... Wait, no. Current wars. Where is it? Yeah, it's... J Japan... Um, the French Civil War has turned into Russia versus the France and UK and their countries... And Italy attacking Greece along with Germany now are at war with Czechoslovakia who's now at war with the Allies so I've got a free reign to do whatever I want now essentially in Africa and uh, British Raj and from there I can easily just march down there and take out their land in Australia so all right this be interesting yeah uh, read my comment Privyet. okay Here we go. Oh, that's it. it dude, Italy has that land. Really? Dang it, Italy. You jerks. Oh, we're doing the naval invasion, though. If we can grab that land, we'll be able to send some of these troops over there here let's uh let's send about half this way to Poland and such well actually let's go into a uh, Czechoslovakia a little bit because <laughs> uh they're already kind of at war with us so send these fish to Czechoslovakia and help the Germans Search time five. Ooh. You know what's really funny? Uh, in all honesty, Italy wants the Romanian Empire. I have a theory saying hello in Russian developed after Chernobyl. Uh, oh, that's funny. Let's see how many deaths have been in by Czechoslovakia and Germany. Uh, that was this one, right? Yeah. Germany's lost 87,000. Czechoslovakia's lost 35,000. Czechoslovakia has lost m less people in a war against Germany than Germany has. That's pretty cool. Oh, Czechoslovakia. We have a surprise. Oh, they do too. They have powerful divisions. And we did not get to secure that naval invasion. All right. Wait, what about uh, maybe down here? And then these guys, if I can get it out. Yeah, six of them. Oh, no, wrong one. Uh, Czechoslovakia, they're strong men. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, if you don't do... Hungry, if Hungary restores 
power, you will become a C blot. What? I did not catch any of that, man. I am so sorry. And uh, let's do a naval invasion at this port. Or can I not do that? Oh, no. I can only do uh, 10 total. So let's go ahead and uh, move these two guys back with this general. Oh, no. Not that general. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter. Uh, no. Look at the flank of the Turkish army. What? Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of difficult, though, because they got uh, French and English troops over here, too, now fighting. Hmm. Let's get logistics. Why are you invading my country, Stefano says? Uh... Is your country Turkey or Czechoslovakia or British Raj? What was what, your or uh, Egypt or what was what, your country? Land of kebabs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, we had some differences, and we wanted to unite our naval power in these vicinities, so we had no choice but to declare war on Turkey. I'm sorry. Alright, so, are naval invasions ready? That one is. 12 more days. We'll just go ahead and tell them to execute it. Why not? Let's see if we can get in anywhere in these areas. Oh, wow. We're actually doing a pretty good naval landing right here. Oh, never mind. We're going to lose it, aren't we? Yeah, we're definitely going to lose that one. Oh, maybe. Really? Are we going to... Oh, my God. If we get that, that's... We can easily overwhelm them if we can get this little spot of land with that. Yes! Alright, sir, you are being promoted. Oh, wait, no, I don't want Zukov. Uh, Ivan Konev. Let's get all of these troops here. Oh, boy. I landed in the wrong provenance. I landed in the wrong province. Uh, uh, run away. Run away. Oh, these guys are so dead. Stupid nonsense. Naval port stream is wrong from beginning to dust and communism where two things don't fit together. Yeah. Socialist realism? Yeah, look, power gain, why not? You know what? I've hit it in this land. We're sending our troops to invade west. Where are the troops out of? Oh. Yeah, I know this guy's a very low supply. It's kind of obvious. No, they got Istanbul again. Did they really? Oh, but that naval invasion worked. Well, isn't that something? So... I think our troops are getting there now. Yeah, they're going. That's good. Alright. Now we can uh, do this. 
and group up down here. That's the whole drink whole ball vodka and plays USSR, it'll help. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I, I don't drink. I, I turned 21 about five months ago, and I didn't even have my first, like, alcoholic anything until, like, a week ago. Like, right about a week ago on Friday. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do is try to, to uh, pocket them right now so we can fight them in the east and take these guys down. Oh, what is happening down here? Oh, my. Yeah, we need to fight these guys off fast. Well, they, we need to get Istanbul. Oh, I should have left a couple divisions up. Oh, wow, we're doing great in Czechoslovakia. We really are. Send a few more divisions over here to help them out. Send uh, 11 more divisions west, I guess. Hey there, narrow Enderman boy. Welcome to the stream. Research slot available. Oh, modify government. Let's do infantry offense. Do we have that? Ah, oh, infantry defense only. I'll make a small division of these guys. And since we're doing so many of these division attacks, let's go ahead and get right here and start moving to Istanbul. And I think that'll be it. I think we'll have captured them then. Uh, now you can flank Poland. Yes, I can. T-34 still way off, too. Artillery upgrade. Woohoo! Look at the land Soviet Union owns. Uh-oh. That's not good. Alright, I'm gonna pull back my tanks and tell them to come down here, because... This is going to be going very badly very soon, otherwise. Well, we got PPSHs now. Please make peace. I just want to see the peace mechanic. It's sort of broken. Uh, we'll do this. We will see if they will accept peace in a minute because in all honesty after Czechoslovakia is defeated and we've got Pol or not Poland we've got Turkey and uh, Bulgaria Romania and then we'll have Czechoslovakia I've got a strong feeling since they're also at war yeah they're totally gonna give up they're totally gonna be willing to settle with peace so let's uh, finish off Turkey and then we'll go ahead and try for peace France, France is dying. Yeah, they are dying. And I love how they're still holding on to that Maginot line, like you said. You guess Slavia has joined. Uh, United Kingdom declared war on them. Well, that's interesting. I guess I can quit boosting popularity. Update equipment and production. They're still holding on to this port. They do not want to let that go. Alright, our divisions are here. Advance, Stalin! Advance! No, we want we want to take out Turkey first before we do anything. And Italy's going for it. Great. Stop pushing me. Uh wait for what? I'm 15 already had three beers and one yeah, cheese. Okay. Let's 
do army. What are its Oh, infantry attack. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I guess we'll do this one for infantry because we don't have that big of a tank thing going on. So. I guess we'll do smirch here. Wait, how's the war going? Really? It says we're losing. Even though Turkey, Czechoslovakia, both kill. Really? That's interesting. Hmm. That's really surprising. Like, really, really surprising. I like how the AI didn't assume it might be a good idea to go ahead and start, like, surrounding these troops. Trying to take him out, you know? We can just do this. We might be able to, like, pincer him in a little bit from the west. Oh, there's the last Turkish units. Uh, that lollipop flavor. Hey, man. Hey, Rasta Wolf. Welcome. Uh, hey, Donald J. Trump. Jeez, our Czechoslovakia war is not going that great. Oh, we're encountering bunkers. That's why. Wow, we got a lot of already. Hmm. Oh, we got turkey. No, wait, what did I just do? Did I accept peace? Oh. Well. Yep, yeah, okay. Mirror Go, Vladimir, Lee, Shai, Lenin, and Neville Chamberlain met in the United Kingdom. But because we have allies, it doesn't work. It only works if... Oh. Huh. Communist States of America took over West America. <laughs> hey, Slavic. Oh, that's funny. Look at that. Wait, how many troops? Four? Okay, the United States. It's the same dude. He's just got a communist pin and suit instead of a bow tie. That's great. But, uh, yeah, there ain't no way they're going to win that war. There just ain't no way. Uh, Italy is doing very well. What happened to Romania? Uh, Romania got taken out by the Fran or us. I hate this thing because the mod doesn't work right. It's it's supposed to when you do that and say you want peace, they actually are like, okay, if you want peace, we'll cease all hostilities and then they'll stop the fighting. But with this mod, if you have allies like this which I'd be very stupid to accept right now, then it's literally just, if you have allies, it doesn't work. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to, when I get 100 manpower, kick faction members out and kick everyone out except for me and then declare peace and then just annex the lands and, yeah. Both from East Netherlands, only in the West. In South Germany, they have one liter glass of beer. That's weird. Anyway. I like how I see planes flying around, but they don't uh, have the right thing. Oh, we are. Oh, we're breaking through. We're breaking through these bunkers. Uh, build 100 more divisions. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm probably going to do is change up the division a little bit. Like, that uh, thing that I did the other day, what was it? Um, trying to think here. 
engineer signal company um hmm this might work really good for well wait a minute no 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 Russia Russia's doing the mass assault doctrine hold on I want to check something nine days and that'll give us all infantry combat with and crew population 5% I know exactly what I'm doing Oh, Mother Russia, you have so many troops. Oops, wrong one. You cannot be stopped. The red. Wait a minute. Wait, minus four. Let me wait until I research that thing, and then we might get some more troops. We're winning already. Uh, you will get like 9 million manpower. Yeah, that is going to be intense. In Czech Republic, you can only buy clear ethanol. You'll be blind your whole life. <laughs> uh. Oh, they did a naval invasion? Really? Dang it, France. UK. Alright. Now. 32. So if I. Oh, that fits perfectly. That's what they want you to do if your rush is this. That's perfect. And now. We're doing very bad in arms. We're doing very bad in infantry weapons. We, we need like 1,600 like 160,000 all right let's stop all offensive attacks right now um huh okay i'll supply minus 30 that'll be really good too all right This guy might be weak. Alright, uh, we're almost ready to uh, cease war with these guys. And uh, after that, I'm thinking of declaring war on Germany and Poland. Possible. Oh, wait a minute. It might not be the greatest idea. Maybe just Germany. Or Finland. What about Finland? What, what's their. Okay, Finland. Yeah, I can invade Finland, I think. Oh, 13 million manpower. Jesus. Y'all are talking about sheep marriage? What? Okay. I'm really weirded out now. <coughs> Excuse me. See if we can push him back right now. I mean, I know we don't have the supplies, but really, even with no supplies, that division works. Or at least it looks like it works. Just the constant charge. It looks. Like, oh my God, we're still breaking through. That actually works pretty well. Huh. And now they're out of ammo, so we can just keep pushing in. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's the beautiful Russian power. Losses so far. Oh, this is going to be a lot. Um, okay, so French communes out. We've lost 1.8 million, and they've lost... Czechoslovakia is 147,000. 325,000 from Turkey. 150,000 from there. British Raj is 13,000. UK has lost 312,000, and France has lost 199,000 troops. But then again, that's a lot because Italy apparently invaded yeah look at this they came and break through oh well germany's got some tanks oh wait a minute hold on let me take a picture of this um i got my phone right here what i like to do is take pictures of um do a 100 million loss challenge <laughs> okay um all right here 
and turn off that thing. Uh, what I'm gonna start doing is like the divisions of these nations, like if they're doing really well, I'm gonna start taking pictures to see what that division has in it and uh, try to recreate those divisions later and maybe I'll start doing a um, like video on oh this division works well this division works well this division works well this division works well and so on and so on you know so that's what I'm thinking of doing uh, for the fight of Paris you serious are you serious star that in Canada bestiality is legal all right then I'm not going up there for a while well in fact I've never been anyway but I'm sure not going now well, there we go. Uh, the city is now under Italian control. Looks like Italy is winning World War II. You know what's going to be funny? If Italy takes the land and it gives it all to Fran or uh, the French thing, uh, the French commune, that would be hilarious. Try to create a civil war in Hungary if you can. That would be fun. Let's start a democratic civil war, why not? I mean, communists would take a while to build up, so. Alright. Alright, Trotsky. Commence your continuing invasion. Let's see how well those massive in infantry divisions are doing. Wow. We're overrunning them now. Oh, alright, France capitulated. Nope, never mind, they didn't give it to him. Alright. Oh well, that's too bad. Um, infantry weapons, 215 days, that's fine. 167 days, alright, that's fine. Oh my god, they're still holding on over there. Not really, though. Uh, when people think about the people in the Netherlands, what do they imagine? Me, it's somebody with wood shoes and, uh, like, lederhosen, I guess. I don't know, that might sound stupid, but that's why I think. Alright. Let's go ahead and start going down this path, then. I guess we'll improve infrastructure. Why not? They just can't push my troops back. This is the perfect loadout. Just massive divisions of thousands of thousands of infantry. <laughs> What's our weapons at? Oh my god, we're at, we need so many weapons, yet we're still advancing over there against the UK and Czech. A leader hosen? Yeah. Uh, you think we're too poor for real shoes? No, I think that, like, just straight up wooden shoes. Like, didn't the Dutch used to wear wood shoes or something a long time ago? Romania's still got a navy out here. We're fighting, apparently. Oh, we just keep taking out uh, the convoys now. Cool. Um, encryption. Oh, we don't have any Russian troops over there. Oh, here we go. They're going down into Africa. I'm gonna tell these guys to forget that order and uh, come over here and try to overwhelm these guys down here. Do that and done. Um, Kamistris, if you want to see asshole drivers coke to northern Netherlands, oh come. <laughs> oh yeah, autocorrect, stupid. I wish I'd like ask you if this is correct before it uses it, you know? Oh, Italy's getting wrecked by uh, them. Oh, Germany must be so ticked off. I mean, look at this. They couldn't capture France. Italy had to do it. They can't capture Czechoslovakia. We had to do it. So I guess the German army... I guess we got a peaceful, moronic Hitler here who doesn't know what he's doing.
attack's actually really good with like these major penalties to us. I mean, we're getting a terrain penalty and we're getting an exceeding combat width penalty. Yet at the same time, we're doing pretty well. None of this. Ooh, T-34s. Dustin, what have I told you about Czechoslovakia men? That they're strong and they drink a lot. I remember. Alright. There we go. Yeah, look at all these troops they had on Czechoslovakia's border. They couldn't, they couldn't do nothing to Czechoslovakia. Russia had to finally come in and take care of the problem. Germany's just like right now, like, what in the hell? How are they doing this? <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we're going to tell these guys to come down here and assist in attacking. And, uh, well, let's put like, these six guys on the border here. So that way we've got enough troops. I'm kind of thinking of invading Poland now. We've got the manpower. We could very easily just waltz in there, I would imagine. Uh, why should I listen to Nightbot? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Finished job. Hey, should we go ahead and invade Poland and then Hungary too while we're at it? And then. Oh, Yugoslavia is an ally. Tell me what you guys think really quick. Should we invade Poland, yes or no? Log in your answers now. Doom, 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 doom. If you're so good with manpower and gun shortages, don't affect. You built 5 million manpower with divisions. Uh, yes, invade Poland. No, make peace. Yes. Alright, so it's 2 to 1. If I build 5 million manpower worth of divisions, do it. Alright, everyone's saying to invade Poland. So we're going to invade Poland, and then we are going to build... Let's just see how many divisions 5 million manpower would be. Oh my god, it maxed out at 94. So we would have... Okay, we'd have around 180 divisions to go down to 6 million. So we'd be looking at about 240 infantry divisions. Or, yeah, 240 infantry divisions of just that. that that's intense. That's insane. Alright, Germany, you should have asked about the Molotov Ribbentrop pack while you had the chance. Alright, let's see how good this guy's massive, like, hundreds of infantry divisions rushing in enemy line are. Wait, attack you morons. The Warsaw. Oh, yes. Hundreds of troops attack. Oh, num, 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 num. Oh, the tears of the Western allies. Oh, yum, 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 yum. We're just creating all these different pockets of stuff. Oh, wow. They're holding me off. Huh. Kind of like the other day when they uh, went crazy and started fighting me. Let me take a picture of that uh, division right there that Poland's got going on. I want to try that later. Uh, there we go. Oh my god, Nightbot's Illuminati. Wait, what did Nightbot do? Yeah, when the army's a little retarded. He's right. It, this On this game, the armies do get retarded quite often. Like, they don't attack when they should, and all that, I mean. Yay! Stars! Thank you for subscribing! Alright. Sure. Hmm. We need all this stuff unlocked to go down this route. Okay. get these two divisions to go in there because I know they're using that airfield. Oh my god, wait a minute, I'm I think I'm losing. Alright, 
All right, you know what? I don't even care about the East. I know for a fact that Japan's not going to start nothing with me. So, we're going to take all of your divisions, and we're going to send you to Poland. Alright, so we got encryption. Now we need the armor. We're still working on that. What about TKB1s? Ooh! It's beautiful. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that's the Philippines. I thought that was Czechoslovakia for a minute. Or I was like, what? Alright. Uh. Thus, you're the first to lose Poland. Well, I haven't lost Poland yet. I mean, see, the army's just acting a little stupid here. Like, they could very easily attack in a lot of these places. Like, look at this. These guys don't want to move forward in here for some reason. It's nonsense. I mean, they could easily just march in there, but no, they don't want to do that for some reason. It's weird. Oh, Germany's getting naval invaded. Germany's getting naval invaded. I think once we get our weapons added up and everything, I think we'll do really well. Oh yeah, it's we just need enough divisions to overwhelm them because these penalties we've got and we're still winning in certain areas. No, we're losing this battle. Yeah, if we can just go north and uh, get enough divisions to encircle these guys, that'll be a major loss for them. But we also need tanks too. Well, they're down here dealing with this nonsense. Oh, but they're winning it now. Alright, let's get our Africa Corps. Send half of them. Oh, they're already maxed out down there. Alright, send them to Poland. <laughs> we have 114 divisions to assault Poland. Come on, Trotsky. Attack Poland. I'm ordering you to move everything in. Oh, if I actually walk into Warsaw, this would be hilarious. Oh, never mind. Didn't happen. But there's no divisions here. Or there. Or there. Poland refuses Germany ultimatum. Wow, you think that's a good idea right now, Poland? You think that's a good idea with everything that's happening? You think that's smart to go to war with Germany? Really? Really? Oh, Poland. Oh, Poland, Poland, Poland. Oh, poor, poor Poland. They're going to get wrapped. Why is everyone speaking, like, German and Swedish and Dutch? <laughs> I, I don't speak those languages. It's making, diff me diff it's making it difficult for me to respond to statements and things. Alright, uh, let's increase our production. Come on, Trotsky. You can do it. <clears throat> yeah, he ain't doing it. Hmm. It looks like we don't have to worry about Germany actually getting in here, so let's just go ahead and uh, do this. Press the button above the general's portrait. Oh, I don't want to stop. I want, like, he's already being told to go if that's what you're talking about, but I'm not going to, like, order him to stop. 
I'm gonna mass assault that one squad. I wanna kill everything east of him in this pocket. German Reich's declaring war on everybody now. He's getting a little gutsy. Thank you for subscribing, Games Brazil. Appreciate that. Oh, Germany just declared war on the Netherlands. Hmm. Let's build... Let's get ready to start building our uh, T-34 tank army. No, this man, this man, is everybody. Man, this mankind. What? Belgium joined the Allies. Germany, you are so stupid right now. Thank you for subscribing. Utiki Tikas. Thank you. Oh, Germany got Warsaw. Dang gun. I wanted to get Warsaw. That was supposed to be my city. I fought for it. That was going to be my prize. Build five million worth of divisions already. Oh, that... Okay, let's see. Do I... I don't have the weaponry for that yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, Germany. Here's what I'm going to do for you. I will obey the Molotov Reventop pack, but I'm taking Warsaw along with... Oh, wait a minute. Thank you for subscribing, Nick the Gur Cheese. One, two, three. Is that what that was? Really? Oh, dude, that's such a messed up name. I just realized what that's supposed to be. Oh, my God. Really? Really? Okay. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Let's go and keep passing. Ha 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 ha. Funny. Ha ha! Take that, Germany. I took all your land. Alright. Now it's made Poland. Or France. <laughs> they took Danzig. They took Danzig back. I didn't actually say it. I said Nick Gur Cheese. So I didn't say it all in one word. So I didn't actually say the word. So ha. Joke's on you. Wow, Germany naval invaded. I think. And then they lost the naval port. First time I've ever seen them do that. And these half tracks look weird. Uh, Katusha. Oh, yes, we need Katusha. Build your divisions. Oh, my. Okay. After I get done doing this, I'm going to use the continuous focus thing. And then we're going to start working on equipment production. So we can get one. So that'll increase. All right. That'll increase our production by 25. So we should be getting an extra hundred rifles a day so that's what we'll do then all right look at this look at this there's so many divisions attacking at one frenchman he's like what the hell this is some bullshit <laughs> wow these tank divisions down here still can't fight We won over here, so I guess we're going to send these guys over here to try to help our tanks move into India, take over Delhi, so we can own the technical support capital of the world. Um, uh, now can you make peace, please? Okay, who thinks we should make peace? Because <laughs> I made that coup in Hungary. Um, because to make peace... What we have to do is we have to kick out all of our allies out of the faction. So we would lose uh, pretty much every ally, which is not really that big. But French commune owns a lot of turkey and stuff. So if we do this, it's up to you guys. So make peace or no? Yes, yes, 
Wait, no. Yes. No. Yes. Two yes, one no. Two and two. It's kind of tied right now. Three yes, two no. Uh, four yes. Four to three. All right, I think the like just over the majority is one piece. Let's do this. Uh, okay. So we're like I said, we're gonna have to kick everyone out of our faction. And we will keep all of our land though, so that's good. Republic of Hungary join the Allies. Ha! <laughs> I made a coup in Hungary, and now they're at war with all of that. <laughs> that ain't gonna end well for them. Oh, really? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if I can invade and take half of Hungary. Hold on. I'm curious about this. Oh, that didn't even work. Hungry. Uh, oh, <laughs> I got part of their land. I got part of their land. I didn't even do nothing. I'm the one that started the coup. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Gulag meant no. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's too late. All right. Oh, wait. No, I meant to kick him. I meant to kick all of them from the faction. I left one in there. Yes, to man a summit. Wait, you got Slavia join the Allies, but they were at war with us. So how did? Wait, what? That makes like no sense at all. They were in our alliance. So after we kick them, they join the Allies. Oh, and then Germany calls them their ally. Okay. Oh, so I guess we're allied with Germany now? No, we can just see all their divisions somehow. Let's see what Germany's rocking, shall we? Uh, yeah, we'll look at losses in one moment here. So, as of right now, Germany's infantry... Okay, that's kind of... That's what it looks like all the AIs are building. I, mean, I could be totally wrong about that, but that looks to me like what every one of the AIs are building right now. And I don't... It's actually really surprising. I don't see any Panzer divisions. Oh, actually, yeah, I do see. I do see one. And, okay. So that's not bad. Huh. Alright. Italy has tank divisions. Like tank divisions. Hmm. Oh, what happened with Turkey? What? What? France, you moron! How could you let this happen? Oh my god. I don't know what happened at all, but Turkey's pretty much alive again now. Oh, Stalin, you stupid, stupid man. Okay. Thanks, Stalin. Appreciate you losing my land for me. Let's attack with these few divisions here and take them down. Then after we take over there, we're going to send our troops in there too. Okay, meeting with Mongolia. So now we can accept peace in a little bit when we want. Oh, focus. Uh, we are getting two production. Okay, so we need to do this. So our equipment will go from 688 a day to... Oh, wow. Huh. Ha, 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 That went very well. All right, and then once we fix our um, deficit, we'll go ahead and uh, build those troops the millions of manpower divisions oh mother rush 
Russia. All right, fine. We'll do it now. We're sending the majority of it to our reinforcements, though, all right? All right, we can build 101. This no man land thing is nonsense. They should really get rid of this. Like, it's really, in a way it's smart, but at the same time it's stupid. Like, if you had enough supplies, you could easily go from, not easily, but you could make it from east to west. I mean, you lose a lot of manpower, I would assume, but you could at least make it, you know? No, we're not accepting peace now, not until we finish this thing. Look at that. Look at that beauty of how quick we're taking the peninsula. Alright. Now let's get Stalin's moronic division over here. Send him over to the east. No, not over there to Afghanistan. Oh, actually. No, let's invade Pac uh, Afghanistan while we're at it. <laughs> Why not? It is World War II after all. Uh, we don't want Romanians. Mixed capitalist socialism. Naval? Oh, I didn't catch what you asked. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Look at all these PPSH we're going to be producing in a minute. This is insane. Like, really insane. Look at this army experience we have, too. That is crazy. Wow. I mean, that's like legitly insane, all the experience we got right now. Oh, losses, losses. That's right. So currently, Soviet Union's lost 3 or 2 million. Everybody's lost 3.75. Wow, this might actually be a 10 million loss war. Like, this war might take 10 million lives. Especially if we go to war with Japan, too. Afghanistan join the allies. How about that for ir irony? <laughs> you know it's really surprising and I'm not trying to jinx it but um they still have not, like, done a naval invasion on me. Like, as much land as I have, they still have not done one. It's really surprising. Oh, wait, what's happening? German Reich is justifying against us. Looks like it was a good idea for you to tell me those 100 divisions. But I don't see their troops moving over here. Oh, he's going to do it regardless in 69 days. <laughs> Giggity. All right. Uh, Soviet war with Afghanistan. Do you remember this happening in another time? Yep. All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll split them 50-50. We'll send it half over here. Yeah, Germany's going to get wrecked. There ain't nothing they're going to be able to do with this. We're, we're just going to overwhelm them. And uh, we'll start building Katusia rockets. Now USA is gonna. Now it's USA against Afghanistan. What? Let's then play some good Soviet music. Actually, fun fact. Uh, in a stream, I'm still researching some of the facts about it. If uh, I can do this or not, and don't have to worry about it with YouTube. Uh, soon, I think what I'm going to do is start uh, doing that like song request thing from Spotify and let it. Or not Spotify, but YouTube, and a Nightbot, and let them pick songs and stuff. So that's one thing I'm considering doing. At least manpower we're losing too. All right, cool. And uh, 
Germany's gonna be crapping their pants here in a few minutes. I mean, especially all these little mini four infantry division things. I think we could easily overwhelm Germany if we went in right now. Like, if we invaded them, oh my god, I think we could easily just wreck them. I mean, Germany can't hold on forever. The only thing we have to worry about is uh, Italy. Italy, like, yeah. Italy... Yeah, so we shouldn't really have that much to worry about. It's just Germany and that's it. Well, uh, Rust Wolf, I don't know if you were asking me that question, but I'll tell you, yeah, I am. I am. Pack my bags and watch you shout a fan. And yes, I'm singing Katy Perry. Alright. I've done very well with the. Uh, we're still fighting Afghanistan, really. Huh. Well, then again, that's not really that surprising. At least, now I think about it, it's not that surprising. Wait, are we losing equipment? Yeah, we're using too much per day. You know, I do not need all this artillery. I've got more than enough tanks. I think what I'm gonna do is this. There we go. That should help. Invade Finland, repeat this. Oh no, I'm 21. I am 21. Yeah. I know, sad, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, Germany. Doesn't it actually declare war? Oh no, it gives them a war goal. Well, if they don't attack me, I'm gonna attack them. After putting all these troops up here, I'm gonna attack them. Because Germany does not have any panzers. They just have regular infantry divisions, so I got nothing to worry about with them. They have the same amount of divisions as me, but they're scattered all over the place, and they're at war with the Allies. So, you know. Uh, hey, Winter Schlaf. <laughs> Isn't it sad that everything Germany tried, the only thing they successfully did was captured Austria? That's all they've done successfully. Like, they didn't get Czechoslovakia. They couldn't invade them. They invaded Poland, but I took all that land back. Uh, Austria was at war with Hungary, so I invaded Hungary, or did the coup in Hungary. Went into it, and they gave me land. So, I mean, in all honesty, I feel really bad for Germany. <laughs> Like, they just, they have no luck right now. They haven't been able to do anything. And we're still winning down there, too. What about, uh, British Raj? Oh, we're making progress in British Raj. I know we're not. Yeah, we might be. Oh, that's cool, uh, uh, Winter Schlaf. Yeah, Peter, that thing does not work. It does not work. Yeah, I, the um, it just not working right. Like the rebel thing, I'm gonna turn it off because it's it's just weird. I don't understand it. It's supposed to work, but it's supposed to like, you know what? Here, I'm gonna pause it really quick. I'm gonna go into the other window. I'm gonna copy and paste what Nightbot is supposed to answer. Okay, this right here. Is what Nightbot is supposed to say whenever you type in that code. That's what he's supposed to say right there. And I thought it was really funny. That's what he's supposed to say. So. So. Alright. Hold on.
All right, and there we go. Okay. Uh, what? Eh, he can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is Germany not gonna invade me? All right, they're only like a couple days away. Let's see if they're gonna do it. Nope, they're not gonna do it, are they? Okay, now they're gonna demand Slavonia. No, you know what? I'm gonna justify war goal against them. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can. I can't declare war on them. That is weird. It won't let me declare war on them. Why? Oh, maybe it's because I'm at war with their enemies, so they're my ally. Huh. Dustin, you want to make a trip to Poland and visit? No. No, I do not want to do that. But thank you for the offer, I think. I don't think he's ever going to make peace. I think he was just lying. <laughs> Uh, after I take over Turkey, I'll ask him for peace. After I take Afghanistan and Turkey, I'll ask him for peace. <laughs> and then I'm going to see about invading, like, Germany or something. Why don't they want to join my faction? Oh. Negative, pretty high. Uh, you said that last time. <laughs> yeah, but this time I'm honest. Wink, wink, smiley face. And don't, can't you trust my um, linen face right here? Don't you think that I would make peace? Right? Yeah, come on, you know I'll make peace. Oh yeah, look at all this. We're making a small dent in our equipment. Oh wait, now what's going on? We have exile divisions. Hey. Oh. You can't get back across. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, Italy, I'm not coming over here to save your stupid butt again. It's not happening. Uh. Okay, here we go with the Jew stuff. Alright. Oh, why did I just tell Nightbot to leave everything be? I know I've got a war goal, but I can't do it. All right, so let's go ahead and invade Finland, like you guys were asking, and then we'll make peace. I think I am Russian, because I keep saying we're gonna make peace, and I just go for more land. In case you couldn't tell, that was my stomach growling, so I need to end this soon. Uh, here's true charge. Hmm. Alright, and boom goes the dynamite. Uh, which one has the tank divisions? Lennon? No? Oh, okay. I'm still in disbelief, like, these massive manpower divisions are actually working decently well. Six million wasn't enough. Ha. Huh. Build a wall on the German border. <laughs> there's the wall right here, it's just very short. <laughs> but there's the wall. Alright, so, if we can just capture this. Oh, and Germany's about to do it. They don't even have... Really? You guys can't get in there? Oh, there we go. This is going to be it. This is going to be their fall. Are our troops here? Yes, they are. Commence operation. Destroy Finland. Charge! Aura! 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 
just drives me nuts that sometimes these guys don't want to attack. Like, whenever you have too many units going on, they don't want to do it, you know? Promote promote Stalin to Field Marshal. Alright, Papa Stalin. Let's give you your promotion. You happy now? You're a Field Marshal. Congratulations, Stalin. Uh, Why do you like Berlin Fall or Winter? Uh, probably the fall, I would think. I'm a cold person, so I guess the fall. See, the troops easily moved in. They just, for some reason, didn't want to, uh, like, do it themselves, you know? These mountain divisions, they actually look like they're ready for cold weather. That's awesome. <laughs> You didn't give them vodka, so they don't want to attack. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, the divisions are set up there. They just don't have the courage. Oh, wait a minute. They don't have the liquid courage of vodka. That's what's going on here. Well, we got their capital. Now, now their other capital. Let's get that. No, he didn't press the button, so they did What? No, no, I pressed the button. Look, it's right here. It's activated. They just don't want to engage. And I even checked. The divisions are set up here. They just don't want to go in for some reason. It's weird. I don't understand it. And they're still fighting for this. Come on, break through already. They don't even have any organization in there. Come on. You're Russians. Don't turn back. Just keep running forward to the town. I have 8 million of you I can send there. Dustin, have you ever seen First Squad? Uh, doesn't really sound familiar, no. Yes, we capture Finland. Yeah, it looks like we finally captured their uh, turkey capital. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Yes, we did it. We captured the Turkish capital. Now we will run the um, allied troops into the sea. Well, we're already at war with Norway. Why stop there? Oh, Mother Russia, beautiful as you. <laughs> After Norway, I think I'm going to attack Sweden, and that's when we're going for peace. Because I am getting a little bit tired of war. Make your front bigger. That's as big as I can make it. So I'm talking about they don't want to attack them. If I tell them to just move in, they have no issues. Like, there's no units online or anything. Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't mean to clear my phone. We lost 3.29... Okay, it's 5.57 million deaths to... 3.13 million deaths, so a lot of these guys are dead. I mean, look at this. The Soviet Union has conquered mostly all. But uh, you need to take back Alaska, though. Oh, oh that's right. 
We're already at war with Canada. Hmm. Good naval invade. Bring troops. I like your thinking. I really like your thinking. How many divisions do we not have enough equipment for? 32? Okay, we'll do that. And we're ready to invade Alaska. Oh, Mother Russia, you are so old. Uh, make your front bigger by attacking Sweden. Oh, I get what you were saying now. I got you. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. I see exactly what you were saying now. There we go. That is, that is a much better plan. Meh. Close enough. They'll go down there. Now let's see if they're actually going to fight. Of course not. Of course they won't. Uh, the old your empire lands reunited. <laughs> oh, T thirty fours. Oh wait, no, not light tanks. T thirty fours. Wow, we need chrome and steel. Mm. Let's do closed economy so people can stop. Well, really? Oh, I have to have war economy and stuff on. Oh. That'll be helpful. All right. Dustin, now what's your opinion about communism? Oh, I don't really. I beg you, just press the above general's portrait. It's on. It's showing that they're marching. And I'm clicking. I see what you're talking about here. They've got attack. They've got strategic border off. They are not on hold. I know exactly what you're talking about. But they, as you can see, are told to attack. They're just not for some reason wanting to. God, this war is taking forever. Wait, did we get Delhi? We did. Now for the next capital, Bombay. White Tiger. Oh, that'd be cool. Stop and restart. Nah, I, I know what it is. It's just there's too many AIs right now. I mean, too many, like, wars going on. So what happens is, at least on my games, I don't have that great of a graphics card. Uh, the game stops running as quickly, and it doesn't know when I'm telling it to attack something. And that's basically what's going on. It just can't comprehend what I'm telling it to do. Oh, jeez, I got more than enough convoys. Forget that. Stop producing that. I need that oil. Uh, make peace after this then yeah that's what I'm planning on doing like I know I said before but um I'm really thinking of making peace here soon after I capture like the the countries up there then I'm gonna talk to them about peace I don't know why. We, we're Russia and we haven't researched military police. That made no sense. Oh my god, here they come again. They keep just doing naval invasions. That's what's going on. Try to cut them off right there. We can split them in two and go west. Then uh, I think we can do this. Oh, they keep going in through that port right here at Rhodes. Oh, God. I'm tired. <laughs> it's 
fake Stalin's blue. He's not. Right. Oh, let's go and fix that. They're happy now. Uh, Desno, can you tell some commie jokes? Mm. I don't really know any communist jokes, to be honest with you. Make an offensive lion turkey. Eh, I'm good, because I want their land. And now that we got everything together. and cancel these guys oh wait I deployed them in the east didn't I yes I did where are they is that them no oh they're up here oh, okay yeah in the winter like right now this game should have a bridge that will pop up here all the way here to Alaska because that's what really happened um, like, it was so cold, like, and it is all the time, you can walk from Alaska to Russia because of, like, the snow or the ice and the ocean freezes at it or something, if I remember correctly. There's, like, between here and here freezes and then here and here freezes, and then you can easily just go across into Russia. In Soviet Russia TV watches you. Okay, that's actually a good one. That's a funny one. That's a that is brilliant. <laughs> Come on, take Bombay. How close are these guys to capitulation already? I wish I had some nukes. Give India independence. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna own those people. I'm gonna call it micro. I'm gonna let uh, tech support reign there for the. Oh wait, harshest, harshest, harshest. Sorry, click my mic button. I thought my manpower would go up after doing that. About well, harshest, 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 harshest. My manpower is actually going down. Oh, local manpower goes down a hundred. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I better go back down to gentle. <laughs> that will ruin me. There we go. Please read my comment. Give India independence. I already did. Uh, Dustin, do you like happy hardcore music? I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, I do like some music, though. Come on, just let us grab Bombay already. Let us end this war. There's millions of people dead, for God's sakes. Come on. It's nonsense to continue fighting. Just give up. Submit to the power of Stalin. Or, uh, Lenin. Wait, what do we get with this? Oh, just my world time goes up. Go to the one below. Go to the one before general. I ain't working. I don't get what you're saying. Just We'll figure it out later. I'll figure out what you meant later, I'm sure. Oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You are not going to capture that city. Or if you do, I will kick you out of that city. There we go. Oh, come on. Please tell me it's going to get in there. Please. Oh, my God. It's taking forever. Uh, Google it. Okay. I'll look at it later. Bombay Cuban memory. <laughs> 
That is messed up, but that's funny. That's a funny one. Oh, no wonder why they want that place. There's ten divisions there, and they don't have any supplies. I wonder why they're fighting like crazy for it. All right. Okay. Um, support. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a... I don't know what to get, man. I mean, we nice upgrade our artillery again. I cannot let them get that city. I fight them off with like tooth and nail. Oh, we got Sweden. Good. Now I just need to get a. Their other land. Norway. Oh, Germany's invading them too. They get hit from all angles. In America, you catch mouse. In Soviet Russia, mouse catches you. Okay, that one I don't understand. Occupation law. <sighs> well, this has been a very tiring and boring one. I think I like playing as Germany more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can sneak around and capture that at base. All the French have medium tanks now, isn't that great? Oh, did we get Bombay? Yes, we did. Oh my god, now there are other capitals all the way over there. Okay. Dude, the Indians do not want to give up. Come on already. Well, we captured a fort, so these guys can easily be able to run. think oh show the picture the fist thing wait why would I do that doesn't that like give him the gentlest uh, I don't know why I would do that but okay I guess I mean I've got more than enough construction here to take care of the factories stuff they keep blowing up so oh my god they made another naval invasion this is straight up just driving me nuts they're losing men like crazy but they just don't care they're just trying to fight them off. I mean, or fight us off. It's nonsense at this point. It's ridiculous. Like, why? Just give up. Indians back fighting better than the French. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna ask for peace. This is taking too long, and it's well, whose capital is that? Free France? Um, I don't know. I just want to, like, on one hand, just give up. But on the other hand, I know I can win this. All right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just ask for peace. What's the terms of the agreement? Um, 
All right, so we'll keep the land we're currently occupying. Uh, okay, we accept. Why didn't it? It didn't work. Okay, fine. You know, we'll pretend that that mod worked. We'll pretend that it worked. Hang on. All right, now it's off for peace. There, the war's over. Okay, fine. I'm good with this, I guess. Even though, wait, Romania's not what? Okay, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. We still occupied a lot of land, and we took a lot of enemy territory. All right, guys. Thank you for staying tuned through the stream, even though it took absolutely forever to get this thing done. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in watching more, you should um, you should have waited. You should have been a day yet. Wait, what? Anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing more Hearts of Iron 4 videos and you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you stay up to date on all my future live streams. Usually it's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. About as daily as I can get them. Usually at least Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later. Mel Wiegman. Wait, my armies are gone. What? My troops! What the? What the? F what? 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 I was gonna save this and pick it up later. What? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Russian winter froze. The Russian winter came in. They all froze to death. Okay, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next stream next time. Yeah, I'll start trying to stream earlier too, Slavic, so I'll catch you guys later.